Hi, Chase Craig here with Chase Craig Real Estate Group and Keller Williams Realty Boise. And today we're ta uh, talking about uh, step number seven in our How to Buy a Home series, which is all about the home inspection and what to expect. Um, so let's dive right into it. You've uh, already written an offer, you've got an accepted agreement between you and the seller, and now it's time for your home inspection. Well, here's a couple things to keep in mind. You've got time-sensitive things you're dealing with. Depending on what your realtor wrote into the offer, you could be have five business days to get the inspection done, you could have seven, you could have ten. You know, some commercial properties we allow 60, 90, you know, even six months worth of uh, due diligence time frame. So know your time frame from the beginning. You have to know what kind of time frame you're dealing with. That way you make sure you don't miss anything. Because if you have a time frame of let's say seven business days and you don't respond to the seller, you're waiving your right to that inspection. So keep that in mind. Um, here's something I also recommend is get bids and quotes. Your home inspector might be a jack of all trades and they might be very good at finding issues with homes and they might not know how to fix them. You know, I'm sure your home inspector is not a licensed electrician, a licensed plumber, a licensed HVAC contractor, or a licensed roofer. You get my point, you know, make sure you get bids and quotes from the appropriate parties before you just make a blanket statement that, oh, it's going to be five grand to fix the roof or it's going to be $5,000 for a new furnace and air conditioner. Don't make assumptions. Get bids and then you can go in to the seller with real information. Uh, that way you can make sure that you're, you're you know, putting your best foot forward to be able to get the deal put together. And this is why I always recommend get plenty of time to do this process because it might take two or three or four days to get the home inspector out. Then it might be another day or two before that home inspector can get the report back. Then you might be two or three days before you get a roofer out or an HVAC contractor out to give you a quote on fixing something. So uh, give yourself adequate time, that way you can make the appropriate decision. All right, be reasonable. We talked about this in our last video. You know, I get seller or buyers all the time, and I get sellers all the time to do this too, but they'll say, oh, it's only 25 bucks, or if I was selling it, you know, I would only, you know, I would have fixed it. I thought that, that it was assumed that would be done. Let's be reasonable. Don't lose a deal over $25 item or a $100 item. You know, if you're willing to spend $200,000 on a home, but the seller won't fix the $25 item and you're willing to walk away, news flash, that probably wasn't the right home for you anyways, okay? So be reasonable when you're dealing with this home inspection and yeah, it's only 25 bucks and yeah, the seller can say, hey, it's only 25 bucks. You guys can go back and forth, be very reasonable. And when it comes to items you already know about, get them in the offer, do not write them in the home inspection. Like I gave you an example in, our, in step number six, I'm writing negotiating offers. If you see the carpet is trashed, ask for the seller to repair it before you actually buy it. Don't pay a home inspector to tell you, hey, the carpet's pretty bad, and then ask the seller, hey, fix the carpet. The seller's going to assume you already knew it was pretty rough shape. So again, be reasonable and uh, know the right time to do it. Uh, the last thing here is, here's the seller's options. Now, the seller can do a couple different things. It's very similar to writing an offer on a property. The seller can accept your inspection contingency and fix all the items you've asked them to fix. The seller can respond to it with a counteroffer or another inspection contingency saying, hey, we'll fix this, but not that. Uh, the seller can also deny it and say, hey, we're not fixing anything, it's as is. Uh, the other thing I want to point out too when it comes to inspections, and both buyers and sellers can do this, if you put a list together that's, you know, maybe 10 or 20 items and it's going to cost roughly $1,500 to have all the items fixed, the seller might decide, you know what, I'm just going to give you a $1,500 credit and you fix them after you move in. Yeah, and that can be a good situation for you, but depending on your loan, your loan program might not allow you to move into a property that doesn't have those items already repaired. So this is where you want to consult with your realtor, consult with your lending professional, and make sure you're making the best decision for you. I hope you learned something today and uh, stay tuned for more in our How to Buy Home series.